how many people with all the entertainment options and the pleasure options and the tasty engineered food with the soybean oil and all the comfort and the gadgets and the mute nonstop music, all the music I want, all the podcasts I want, all the Netflix movies I want. How many people in, with that flood of options are going to say, I don't want any of that. I'm going to choose to go to church and stand for three hours to pray, or I'm going to fast in the Orthodox church half of the calendar year. We can't eat meat and dairy. I'm going to pray. I'm going to stand in my prayer corner for an hour a night or half an hour a night and pray. How many people are going to do that? What percentage is going to do what we should do? You know, when Christ came, he didn't say, just do this for a little while. And then once technology starts to ramp up, you don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> he didn't say this is for the monks only. No, no, this is for all of us, even today. How many, what percentage of people are going to do that? Well, I'll tell you from what I've seen, that percentage is very small in the, of course, depends on the country, but in the United States, I'd be surprised if uh, more than 10% of the population really want to take that path, want to, you know, Christ told us he chose us out of the world, that that 10% want to live away from the world and to live as he taught us. So I'm not optimistic there. I am not, I don't know how we can be. I, I think as you see where the world's going, it's hard to be optimistic. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the lengths that the Amish have to go to, for example, to withstand the onslaught, you wonder, do people really want to do that? 